it's Froggy and Fuzz, and yeah. we're doing another Japan candy box. This is the August edition. I'm pretty excited. All right, let's do this. You want up? So, this is our little character for this month. It's very cute. It's growing underwater. It's, yep. Oh, it's Okinawa. Okinawa Island Holiday. Oh. And to start it off, we've got this right on top. Super, super potato. potato. Not just any regular potato. No, super potato. Super potato. From Calvi. Oh, it smells good. I'm not sure what it smells like, but they're really thin. Smells like potato. It's a little thin, that is. Like, it's... I don't know if you're gonna get the full effect of how thin that is, but they're very thin. And cold. <laughs> oh yeah, we were storing the box in the fridge. I guess it's supposed to be like butter and nori flavor. It's good. I like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it tastes like potato chips with like a bit of an umami flavor. Yeah. So, I'm about it. Yeah, no, it's good. It's got like a bit of a fishy kick. Fishy? I'm not getting that at all. No, oh, I got a bit of a fishy kick. Maybe you're crazy. Maybe I am. Maybe it's Maybelline. Roshi, Maybe. what are you doing? He looks so angry on the floor right now. I don't know. I offered him uppies, but he's not taking them. I don't know, man. Come on, buddy. Yeah. Next is a... I think it's supposed to be like a fruit bowl. But there's like a little bowl in here with a toothpick and then there's little candies. And it's got pictures uppies. of fruit on it. You know. Oh, what is... The bowl is also edible, I'm assuming. It looks like an uh, ice cream cone, kind of. Yeah, it's like that ice cream cone material. Here, let's show you. I'm gonna get... I can't smell anything. It doesn't smell like anything. None of it I smells. Know. Okay, so I can't really, like, turn it a whole lot, but this is what it looks... Broshi, hello? You can't see. He's right right here. Oh, I just stabbed him with a tooth. <laughs> it oh. might be... Oh, he's going for the patats. Not the super potatoes. Oh, okay, so these are too hard to be able to use the toothpick on. Oh, yeah. Doesn't help that we were storing this in the fridge. No. So it's going to kill a lot of the smell on some of this stuff, but... Mm -hmm. We had to, though. It's been so hot in our apartment. So I got a strawberry one. I don't know what the other flavor is. Banana? Mm -hmm. And... I don't know, green. Melon? Let me grab my little... Okay. Fruit Forest Mochiam Candy. Mochi candies that have a traditional chewy texture similar to the traditional Japanese glutinous rice cake of mochi. Uh, savor this taste of melons, grapes, and other in-season fruits with these colorful sweets. The, the yellow is definitely be. banana. Yeah, I don't think this is grape. It doesn't taste like grape. But apparently, I guess the pink one's supposed to be grape. They're good, though? They're all right. They're like banana. <laughs> Eh. Banana candy's not really my deal. Doesn't even mention that this is supposed to be edible. Like, I can't tell if it is or not. <laughs> it might. It might be styrofoam. That, uh, that might not be edible. No, that's just straight up styrofoam. Oh, it's melting, though. No, it smells like ice cream cone. Oh yeah, it does. It's got a very tough texture. It's probably because it's been in the fridge. It's also probably just stale. Yeah, it has been sitting with us for a little while. You had, we've had this box for a few weeks. It's just been a little while since we got around to it. Yeah. All right, the next one has um, cars and, and a fire, a police car and a fire truck and a helicopter it's got stuff. on it. It's, it's looks like a candy for, for little boys. Oh, it's Lego. What? No, it's not. No. That's the Japanese Lego logo, is it not? Is this the Japanese Lego logo? I don't logo? know. It looks Let like the same type of font and the right shade of red for the square. Let me... Oh. Oh, these are like little candy tablets. Now let me get an actual car shaped one. Okay, so I don't know if you're... I hope you're going to be able to see it. Uh, yeah. Oh, I really want you to be able to see this. It's very cute. 
Oh, I guess they just use the English logo and I'm just stupid. Never mind. I can't get them to see the little car design on it. Okay, well, I don't know if you can see it or not, but either way. Okay. It tastes like, um, the same as, like, sweet tarts. That's what it's like to me. But anyways, I don't yeah. think you were able to see the design on it, but they have, like, little stamps into the into the actual candy, so it was like, you could see the grooves of the car. You don't like I it? Don't, I don't care for those at all. Oh, I like them. I, I also don't like sweet tarts, so. I like sweet tarts. Okay. Oh, here you go, something you will like. Choco Ooh. Mint. So these are gonna be like chocolate mint ice cream bars. Chocolate bars. But we both love chocolate mint over here, so we're both pretty stoked for this one. There's a thing. Oh, there's yeah. a thing. There's a whole thing. Oh, it opens up like this. <laughs> very, <laughs> very suave. Oh, there's three. There you go. One each, and we'll split the last one later. Oh, yeah. That smells like I'm after eight. It's so good. Oh, a little, a little worse for wear because it's been sitting in the heat and then went into the cold, but you know. This is essentially what it looks like. It probably would have been much nicer before it melted, but you know, it's still pretty good looking. What's the matter? What's wrong? I can't. Ooh. There we go. It's like he's never opened these packages. There's a specific before. way to open it, apparently. Yeah, the same as every other packaging like that. No, like there's literally instructions on the back telling you where to rip the thing. I okay, well, if that. you want to be an ass about it. Mm. I think it's really good. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm down. No. Probably one of my favorite things that we've opened out of these boxes before. It's just chocolate mint ice cream incarnate. Like, it's in chocolate form. Yep. It's very good. I love chocolate mint. There's no missing with this. No. Unless you don't like chocolate mint. In which case, my condolences. Because <laughs> you're missing out. Alright. is... Oh, it's like a little jelly stick. It's got chopsticks that comes with it? Oh, you're supposed to make it into like cotton candy or something? What? I don't know. <laughs> this is no. confusing. Here, hold on. Let what? me show you first. So this is what it looks like. The packaging. And then this is the instructions for it. Get the, get the, get the, 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 the booklet. Oh god, are you even going to be able to see it? It's not, my camera is not focusing today at all. Here. What the heck is this? Okay. Oh. There it is. Push on it. Oh, it's so thick. Yeah. Okay. Saka fruity Nariame summer candy. Nariame or Mizuame is a popular Japanese candy that's usually sold during summer festivals in Japan. Experience the fun of twisting and bending this water-like fruity dessert. Whoa. Does it show you how to open it? Nope. Hmm. It just, it okay. just says there's supposed to be like a... I don't think that's it. Because it says there's like a notch. No, it's supposed to be on the side. I'm not seeing it. Found oh, it. you got it. All right, and then I think we're supposed to stick the sticks in here. And then, like... Pull it out or something? Oh, yeah. 
Are we supposed to squeeze it out? Hold on, what's the... Can you rip it? Oh, you're supposed to keep ripping it down the side. Okay, hold on. Are you sure? Because it just shows it squeezing it out. Like a tube of toothpaste. Yeah, I think it's just toothpaste squeeze. Okay. Hold the sticks. It's probably this thick because we refrigerated it. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Okay, just keep twisting. Oh it's bubbling. It's bubbling! Yeah, that's fine. Just keep pushing. <laughs> sticks. Oh god. So much. There we go. Ta-da! This is honestly a very weird candy, not gonna lie. It is, but the texture is like, I've had this before. The texture of it. It's like weird melted glass candy. It's pretty good though. So it's all gloopy and reflecty. And stringy. I'm trying to think of what it remem reminds me of. I don't care for that taste at all. No? Nope. Why, what's wrong with it? It doesn't taste like much. It just tastes medicinal, almost. I'm not getting that. To me, it just tastes like melted candy. It tastes like something I've had in the 90s. I'm just trying to remember what. It definitely tastes like 90s. I'll give it that much. <laughs> yeah. Cause I remember getting like this weird candy goo in a tube. It and tastes like the type of candy you would find lying on the floor at a Chuck E. Cheese underneath the arcade machine that they don't sell at the convenience area, so you're wondering where it came from. <laughs> it doesn't. Yeah, just stick away. This tastes like what candy would taste like if you told an alien about the concept of candy and then told them that they had to make some. He just doesn't like it, that's all. It's so off. It's probably because you haven't had something like this before. Sure, yeah, let's go with that. I'm just not used to it. It's a, it's an acquired taste. It might be that. But I, I kind of like it. It's not my favorite thing. But it definitely has like that strong nostalgia factor for Okay, me. no, well, I gotta say I'm not impressed so far. That one or? Just in general. Like the potato, the chips were fine. Yeah. The chocolate mint was really good. Heck yeah. The other three candies we've had so far do not care about in the slice. Oh, see, I really, I like these ones. This is all, for me, a lot of this is nostalgia stuff. Like the, I mean, everybody's, well, I, you know, I've always had mint chocolate chip. It's one of my favorites. And then this is something like... That tastes and reminds well, we me of something from the 90s. And then the this is sweet coast. tarts. <laughs> Some of us grew up in the middle of the prairies. Alright. Oh, here you go. High chews. You like the high chews. I do like high chews. So we got some strawberry high chews up in here. It's pretty basic, I'm not gonna lie. I think this is the first time that we've gotten high chews in a box. Yep. Here it is. Can't find the little opening. But I mean we both like high chews, so. Oh, they look like little gifts. Wow, that is a strong, strong strawberry smell. Oh, I got chocolate on my hand. Oh, yeah. yeah. Come here, high chews. Wash the taste out of my mouth. It comes in a very cute little package. This is very, like, it's like a winter present package, I guess. Which is weird, because I thought we were on summer. Well, it's supposed to be a holiday. Hmm. I don't think it's got a center to it. Some of the high chews have like a like a different flavor in the center. Oh no, this one's got like a cream in the center. So this one's got like a white center. 
I mean, that just looks like a box named Hachi to me. I wonder if it's supposed to be like strawberries and cream. Hachis in general are very creamy. Mm. Yeah, I like them. No. It reminds me of like Campinos, but in a chewy form. Fresh strawberry high chew. Summer is the best time for strawberry picking across the berry farms in Okinawa. Savor the natural sweetness of freshly picked strawberries as you chew on these delicious soft treats. Pretty basic. <clears throat> I'm not a big strawberry candy fan, or in general, but this one's actually pretty nice. It's not like bleh or anything. Oh, it looks like we finally made this, got to the savory stuff. What is with all of the transportation? There's lots a bus and lots on of trains. One. It's got like more trains. They're very, one. they're very proud of their infrastructure. Yeah. So not Which sure I mean, they should be. It's infinitely better than anything we have in North America. Well, yeah. Okay, so these are like weird. Okay, you they're. You could say we're a bit of a train wreck. So they're little ramen pucks. The flavor's pretty good. I'm not sure what it's supposed to be flavored as, other than ramen. Mm, it's the same flavor as those um, those Demon Slayer ramen packets from a little while ago. <coughs> I know because I just finished those off a couple weeks ago. So this one's supposed to be chicken. Yeah, it's like chicken teriyaki or something. And this one doesn't have the teriyaki, but it's mm. chicken. Alright, it's fine. Decent. All right. Next, it looks like we've got some veggie sticks. The packaging is very cute. I like that kind of stuff. But yeah, looks like it's just gonna be like little veggie crackers. Yeah, there you go. So it's little veggie bread sticks, essentially. It's like sour cream. Mm. It's alright. Like a easy healthy snack. Yeah, it does kind of have that sour cream and onion kick to it. Mm-hmm. I mean I'm not complaining. I like sour cream and onion, so yeah. Which is weird because there's uh what is that? Broccoli, a pumpkin, and a bell pepper on the front cover. Yeah, I'm not getting any of that. I'm just getting sour cream and onion. <laughs> Alright. Next up is a Baskin Robbins ice cream pellet gummy treat. Candy? I don't know if it's gummy candy or not. I don't know what it is. Hello, Roshi. Can you say hi? Oh, here we go. Oh, this is the cutest way to open it. That's adorable. And it comes with individually packaged little candies, which are very cute. So here As you they go. do in Japan. As they do. It makes it easier for traveling with them. Yeah, so you can stick them in your kids' though. lunch. That too. Oh lord, these did not last in the heat. At oh all. ho ho ho! So I can't guarantee how these are gonna taste, but this is what it turned into. <laughs> Does it go bad? Oh no, it just wasn't the texture I was expecting. It's like chocolate kind of texture. That's what I thought. I knew it wasn't gonna be gummy. Why does it taste like bubblegum? Oh, well, it's got Pop Rocks in it. <laughs> okay. But Askin Robbins, 31 soda popping shower, popping shower cocoa bites. Choco bites. Choco bites. Baskin Robbins has more than a thousand ice cream stores all over Japan. Cool down after a warm summer day as you try these Minnesota, mini soda flavored chocolates. Um, ice cream chocolates that are filled with popping candy. So I think it's supposed to be like Sprite with popping candy. It's, it's... It tastes like Sprite. It's pure attempted sugar flavored chocolate. It was... Yeah, it's not... I don't like it. Ugh. Which is weird, because I like pretty much anything with chocolate. What I'm but learning today just... is that I should not be spending summer vacation in Okinawa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's not. Not unless I want high chews. I mean, maybe this stuff is better fre uh, fresh. French. All right, so the last I hope thing so. is a custard cake, and it looks like it's going to be banana and caramel. 
which sounds delicious to me. So I'm hoping that this is good. So this is what the little cake looks like. Yeah. Nice and simple here. Blah. Okay, now the, of course the inside is... is oh, okay, it's like pancakes and butter. There you go. So this is what it looks like on the inside, but again, remember it's been refrigerated, so... Probably if it was sit out on the counter for a little while, it'd be a little gooier. Tastes all right. Yeah. I can get the caramel. It, uh, it basically tastes like a banana muffin. Yeah. But without like chocolate chips. Oh. There's like a weird goo inside. Yeah, that's the caramel. Oh. Oh yeah, there it is. Or syrup, I guess. Oh, it's also supposed, also supposed to be pine, a pineapple. Pumpkin, um, pumpkin. Banana, banana and pi pineapple. Banana, pineapple, and maple syrup on pancakes? Yeah. Sweet Lord and Jesus, what have they done? <laughs> I mean, it tasted all right. It tasted like a banana chocolate chip muffin without the chocolate chips. Yeah. So I can't complain too much. All right. Honestly, can't say I'm a huge fan of this box, like, yeah. at all. Uh, um, my number one's probably the... Mint chocolate? Mint chocolate. Mint chocolate. Strawberry high chews. Yeah. And then the chips and then anything after that, honestly, can do without. Yeah, I like the mint chocolate. I do actually like these things quite a lot. Most things I guess I'm mediocre on. I, I didn't really like this very it's much. not an inspiring box. No! What a sad way to end. Yeah. Like, this is our- this was gonna be our last box for a while. But... Well, you know, we did the six months. If we do another subscription box set, it's gonna be with a different company anyways. I like doing different companies for a little while and then, you know, swapping. Just so we can try new things. But, yeah. Yeah, all in all, not a fantastic box. Pretty disappointing, but all of their other boxes before this one were fantastic. I liked just about everything in every other box. So, Can't you know. Can't them all. No, for people who like, um, like fruity snacks and, and, and... Weird approximations at what a fruit is supposed to look like, or <laughs> yeah. taste like, rather. Some people like that kind of stuff. So it's a lot of high sugar stuff, except for the veggie ones. Everything else is super, super sugary. So for people who really love, oh my goodness, for people who really, really, really love sweets and stuff, they probably like this one a lot better um, than we did. But yeah, anyways, all of the information for this box is gonna be down below in the description. If you wanna go ahead and get yourself a box, you can go ahead and follow the links that are there. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you want to see more videos from either of us, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell at the top, I guess. Thanks. Bye. Bye.